One well-known example of animals cannibalizing their mates is the praying mantis. During mating, female mantises sometimes eat their partner's head or other body parts. This behavior occurs in only about 13 to 28 percent of mating sessions and is more likely if the female is particularly annoyed or hungry. Interestingly, there may be a silver lining for the male mantis if his mate decides to have a snack during their intimate encounter. A 2016 study found that female Chinese mantises who consumed their partners ended up laying more eggs, which increases the chances of the male passing on his genes to more offspring. Nudibranchs belong to the sea slug family and have soft, gelatinous bodies. Their vibrant colors come from the food they consume, even though they don't have any teeth. These creatures are powerful predators and can capture prey by launching a proboscis like structure and swallowing it whole. In case of need, they can even consume their own species. Nudibranchs are hermaphrodites, which means they have both male and female reproductive organs. During mating, both partners usually exchange sperm to fertilize their eggs. However, for horned nudibranchs, this mating process can sometimes end in cannibalism, where one animal consumes the other. There is a widely spread myth that all black widows eat their partners after mating. However, it turns out that this only applies to certain species that fall under the black widow umbrella. In the wild, most black widow species do not engage in sexual cannibalism, although it has been observed in captive environments. Out of all the black widow species found in the United States, only one displays cannibalistic behavior after mating. Females of the Latrodectus moctans species, also known as southern black widows, sometimes consume their partners following copulation. However, the majority of males usually survive the encounter and are able to mate again. Male jumping spiders have a rather indiscriminate approach when it comes to mating. They'll try to attract any female they come across with a special dance, even if she's not the same species. It's believed that they can't differentiate between types of spiders, which leads to this behavior. Surprisingly, Researchers have even observed male jumping spiders attempting to court dead females. Since male jumping spiders are significantly smaller than their female counterparts, they are highly susceptible to being consumed by their mates. After mating, females usually try to eat their partners, although this doesn't always happen. Unfortunately, the male may not fare any better if he accidentally tries to seduce one of the many species that devour males after mating. In an attempt to avoid being completely consumed by their female partners during mating, male sagebrush crickets have a rather gruesome strategy. They offer their partners a gift in the form of their back wings, which are then feasted upon by the female while they mate. This allows the female to drink the juicy contents of the wings while only a portion of them are eaten during copulation. This often leaves the male with enough wing surface area to mate again. However, there is a catch to this strategy. Male sagebrush crickets who have already mated may not be as attractive to females because their partially eaten wings offer a less filling meal. This means that virgin males are typically the first choice for female sagebrush crickets who are looking for a sexual partner. Female anacondas have a rather gruesome tendency to cannibalize their mates by strangling them. Due to their enormous size, with females being nearly five times larger than males, they have a significant advantage over their partners. Interestingly, males seem to prefer to mate with larger females, even though they have poor eyesight and it's difficult to gauge size accurately. Scientists believe that pheromones play a significant role in attracting males to a female and may contain information about her physical appearance. Despite how disturbing it may seem, it's actually beneficial for a female anaconda to consume her mate. Since she won't eat during the seven months of her pregnancy, Getting a last-minute meal in beforehand is a smart tactic to help her survive through a long gestation period. Octopuses have a unique way of mating, which involves the male inserting its arm inside the female's body to fertilize the eggs. While sexual cannibalism is not as common in octopuses as in some other species, it is still a potential risk for males. Female octopuses can strangle their mates by wrapping their arms around them and squeezing. This behavior is more prevalent in species with longer arms, such as the coconut octopus. To avoid being eaten, male octopuses of long-armed species try to mate from as far away as possible by keeping the female at arm's length. 
Some even did this from outside her den to minimize the risk of becoming her next meal. After mating, banana slugs engage in a gruesome act of self-cannibalism. These hermaphrodite creatures usually prefer mating with a partner if possible, though they have the ability to self-fertilize. To signal their readiness to mate, they release chemicals into their slime. During copulation, the slugs stimulate each other by ingesting each other's secretions. Once they're done exchanging sperm, they chew off their own penises to detach from their partner. Male redback spiders have a dangerous mating process that involves the possibility of death at every stage. These male spiders don't spin their own webs, so they often hang around the female's web and make sexual advances to determine if she is ready to mate. However, this is also a risky strategy, as the female may mistake the male for prey and eat him. Assuming he is successful in convincing her to mate, the male then has to work to maintain her attention while they mate. He stands on his head and exposes his abdomen, which she then, somersaults, toward her mouth to access. This gives him time to insert his first palp, which is the spider's reproductive structure. During this time, the female injects digestive juices into his abdomen to liquefy his insides. If the male still has the strength, he may be able to insert his second palp before dying. This unusual and dangerous way of reproducing is unique to redback spiders. Even after the female has laid her egg sac, the offspring still face a grim fate. The egg sac can contain around 300 eggs, but the baby spiders are highly cannibalistic, meaning that very few will survive to adulthood. Male orb weeding spiders have a grim fate when it comes to mating. They have an 80% chance of being devoured by the female spider after copulation. Due to this, they are quite selective in choosing a mate. Unlike in many other species where females choose their partners, male orb weavers tend to be picky while selecting their sexual partner. They usually go for young and plump females, as they believe them to be the most fertile, and they know this may be their only chance to pass on their genes. This selectivity is likely a result of their high mortality rate during the mating process.